what is this book called? Bear's Diary. Yeah, what kind of book is this book? Um, what do you think? Look inside and see what you think and look at the cover. What do you know about the, how this book is going to be set up? Um, Let's go to this beginning part. What do you notice that's going to get you thinking about? What kind of book is it? I forgot what it's called, but it starts with an N. Yeah, and it's a narrative. It's a story. Okay, what do you know about stories that helps you read? That, um, that there's, like, people that's talking. Yes. So what are those people called? Mom, Dad. They're the characters, right? So they have characters talking. What else do you know that helps you read? That, um, there's an index. Is there an index in, an, in a story? Not all the time. Okay, so we know there's characters. What about a setting? Where is the setting of this story, do you think? Where does it start out? Um, like in the daytime. Yeah, that's um, the time of day. The setting is at their house, right? Yeah. And then where do you think this setting is now? Vet. Yeah, the veterinarian. So the setting changes throughout. Now where are they? Home. Yeah, so the setting's going to change, and that's going to help you read because when the setting changes, they're talking about different things, okay? So we know the setting, we know there's characters. What else do we know about stories that helps us read? That um, they show where um, they're going. Okay, that's part of the setting. And what about, oh, go ahead. Um, what about the event or problem? Is there an event or problem in stories? Yeah, so going, we use our title to figure that out. What's going to be going on in this story that's going to help us read? That it's going to tell us what is going to happen. Yeah, what's it called? There's a diet. What's a diet? Like, you have to eat healthy. Yeah, so that's, that's we're going to, the story line is about Bear. Who's Bear? The dog. Yeah, he's on a diet, right? So we have the event or problem. We have the setting of the story. We have our characters. You said mom, right? Mm -hmm. You said, who's our other character? Matthew. Mm -hmm. And then who's? Bear. Bear, right? All right. So now you know there's the storyline already, right? So that's how we get ready to read stories. The other thing to keep in mind is this is a conversation, yeah. right? They're talking back and forth to each other. So who's going to be talking to each other in this story? Um, Matthew and Mom. Yeah, Matthew and Mom. And then in this page, who's going to be talking to? The, this. What is her name? What are, What is that? The vet. The vet. The veterinarian, right? Yeah, and she's going to talk to the Right, mom. so there's a conversation taking place throughout this whole book, okay? All right, now we're ready to read. Let's get started. After, Use your finger to help you. After school, Matthew sat down on the steps with Mom. He drew his dog bear. Stop for a second. So what are you thinking there? What is the author trying to tell us there? What bear is doing? What bear is doing? Or who? He's actually telling us what Matthew's doing. What's Matthew doing? He's He is referring to Matthew. So if Matthew did something to his dog, that's what the author's telling us here. What do you think he did? Stop. Let's look at that word. Put your finger underneath it. Let's do Stroked. Yep, so we got to be flat. Stroked. He stroked his dog. What, what word would you have used there? Talk. What? Talked. He talked his dog? He stroked his dog. What does stroked mean? 
So you got to stop, right? There's another thing we do as readers. I don't know what he's doing to his dog, right? But it, you got to know that he's doing something to his dog, but you're not sure what he's doing. Word stroke means like he pet. He pet his dog, okay? The author's using the word stroked, okay? But you know that he's doing something to his dog, okay? Let's see what he says now. Bear doesn't come to meet me at the back gate. Use your finger to help you fly along, yeah? Today, said Matthew, no, said Mom, I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried, a, a bit worried about him. I know he's going, getting old, but he just seems to sit around these days. I think he over, over, over to now let's think about the title what did you say about diets that to eat healthy so use that to help you solve some of the words here I think he's about bear, aren't they? What do you think they're talking about here? That he might have to go to the Why? Vet. He's what? Because he's like sitting around. Yeah, what happens when you sit around? Like his tummy hurts. Yeah. This word actually is overweight. overweight. So what does that, what do you think that mean? I think he's overweight. That he has so like he was, his number was lower and his number got bigger. He's fatter, right? He's a fatter dog. So they're worried about him. He's getting too fat. Let's see what happens. Maybe there's something wrong with him, said Matthew. We could take him to the vet. That's a good idea, said Mom. I'll make an appointment for a bear. To see Dr. Kelly. Yeah, what are you thinking after you read that first page? What do we know? That they're going to take Bear to the vet. Yeah, what's the key point of that page? To see what's wrong with Bear. Yeah, and what do they think is wrong? Mm, that I think he, like, has, like, a big stomach. Yeah, he's overweight, right? That's the word they use. Let's see what happens at the vet. Matthew and Mom walk through a door for the Put your clinic. finger in there and it helps you. Start it again at the top. Wolf. Start again at the top. Matthew and Mom walk through the door of the clinic. Bear wolfed in... <laughs> Greeting to Dr. Kelly, the vet. What does that mean? That he's saying hi. Yeah, yeah, instead of saying Bear said hi, the author said Bear woofed, right? A friendly greeting. Let's because, see what the vet says. Because dogs can't speak right. human. Let's see what the vet says. How are you going doing there? She said, giving him a pet. I haven't seen you for a long time. Come on in. Mom and Matthew explained why they were worried about Bear. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Kelly licked Bear's heart and his lungs and his um, What is the author trying to tell us here? What is the author um, saying? What's Dr. Kelly doing? 
that he's lis that she's listening to mm -hmm. his heart. Yep. So what else would she be checking there? Think about that. And start back up here. Doctor. So Doctor Kelly clipped Bear's heart and his lungs and his. Don't. Don't. And what could she be checking on the dog? On the stomach. Try it. On the stomach. Mm -hmm. Could she be checking his stomach? Yes, yeah, so you have to think about what the doctor could be checking on him. Let's see what happens. She looked Look into his eyes, eyes and his and ears and his and mouth. mouth. She took his... Hmm. Temperature. Yeah, she Two. took his temperature. What do you think? That she's going to say he's on a diet. You think so? I love how you're thinking about the title of the story, right? Let's see what the doctor says. Well, said Dr. Keller, running his hand hand Hands over bears. Count. Okay, so I'm going to show you something here. It's so important to phrase and use the punctuation. So this is how this sounds. Well, said Dr. Kelly, running her hands over bear's coat, he seems to be in good health. See that comma there? So I stop. But I do agree. He is a bit fat. fat. So I stopped there because there's a period. Let's see how heavy he is. Okay, you read that part now. Well, said Dr. Kelly, running his hand, her. her hands over his coat. He seems to be in good health, but I do. Agree. Agree. He is a bit fat. Let's see how heavy he is. Hmm. That's a good idea, isn't it? All right, let's see what Matthew does. Matthew helped Dr. Kelly put Bear on the scale to weigh him. Mm -hmm. Are you? You're right, said Dr. Kelly, he does need to go on a diet <laughs> and get some more exercise. Take him on a long walk each day. He's a laugh. Try that again. This. When I say try that again, go back to the beginning of the sentence. Here's a list of food that he should be eating. Remember, give him a plenty of vitamins too, Doc, said Dr. Kelly. It makes sense to say vitamins, but let's take a look at that word. Where's the first part? Right here. Let's try the first part. Veg. Vegetable. Yeah, so when you said that first part is V, V, you give it a try, but then if it's not, you might have to add to that first part. So you might have to break it somewhere else, vegetables okay? Too. Yeah, so. so Dr. Is it smart to have vegetables? Mm. Vegetables. Matthew. Yeah, and he's kind of saying it. Vegetables? Do you think they feed him vegetables? Doesn't sound that way according to Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. All right.